I can't believe I'm saying this, but Call of Duty have just sent me the first official teaser trailer for Call of Duty 2021. Leaks and rumors for this game have been rampant the last day. And from some really unusual tweets to this teaser trailer, I think this is Call of Duty's direct response to those leaks. You've been seeing the teaser trailer play a few times, but I'm going to stop talking for a moment to allow you to hear it. And we're going to break this down frame by frame so you can work out exactly what this means. Now that's one of the quickest four second teasers you'll ever see, but trust me, there is a lot to unpack in this. So I really encourage you to watch this video to the end because you are going to learn something. Firstly, visually, this is a stunning teaser trailer. This looks like we're watching a piece of movie footage. This doesn't look like a game. It looks incredible. And I can't tell if this actually is the game or if it's a cinematic made for the game. It really looks that good. Now with all the rumors and speculation about this game being set in World War II, this solidifies that completely with some specific things that we see in this. If we start from the end of the teaser, we can see there is a signpost for a location called Merville. Now, Merville is a town that takes place in the Nord department in the Hauts de France region of Northern France. Now, we can find a direct link to World War II and Merville, and that is a specific battle that happened in Merville called the Battle of Merville Gun Battery. This occurred on the 6th of June, 1944, as part of an operation called Operation Tonga, which was part of the D-Day landings during the Second World War, which involved a massive assault by British paratroopers on the Merville Battery. Now, right at the very end of the trailer, we see a sort of stitched name tag hanging off some of the barbed wire, and this is a name called Sergeant Kingsley. Now, this could be our very first confirmation of a character name within Call of Duty 2021, potentially a playable character, and if this is tied into the Battle of Merville gun battery, then Sergeant Kingsley could be a British paratrooper. If we wanted to go so far deep as to look up the origin of the name Kingsley and what it means is an English surname of Anglo-Saxon origin and this locational surname roughly means from the king's wood, glade or meadow and derives from the old English words king and woodland clearing and we literally see for four seconds a piece of woodland being completely clear and if that wasn't enough to convince you we see another frame where we see a sign that says Aktung which is clearly German but we see a beret here on the barbed wire which is a connotation to the British paratroopers as they wore maroon colored berets. So from this teaser it seems very likely that the name Sergeant Kingsley could be tied to a British paratrooper who has been sent into the Battle of Merville gun battery and that's the scene that we're seeing in this teaser trailer. Furthermore, if the scene we're seeing is from the Battle of Merville gun battery, it means that COD 2021 is likely following true to history of what happened in World War II rather than creating some sort of fictional alternate universe where perhaps there was a different outcome to the end of the war instead of what actually happened. That was a rumor that people speculated back a few months ago. So far, this teaser seems to be following on from history. We can also see quite a few helmets and grenades near the end of the trailer. Those grenades specifically are M24 grenades. And we can also see the top barrel of the Sten SMG, which is an iconic SMG from World War II. So we can expect the game to have the Sten SMG. Technically could be classed as the first confirmed weapon that we might see in the game. And we also see a helmet pinned between barbed wire and some trees, which, which to me looks definitely German-like. But again, if you guys know more than I do, please chime in in the comments below. But the last thing that's incredibly interesting to point out is on one of the trees, we see there is a patch, something that you might see on like a shoulder or on a chest. And this has a logo and on the top it says task force but then underneath it it says the word vanguard now i don't think you have to be an expert to work out why vanguard is there that's the rumored name for call of duty 2021 and this seems to hint even more towards it we've already had a teaser in the key art for season five about the word vanguard so to see it here again solidifies the rumor that the game may actually be called call of duty vanguard but 
Let's look underneath that as well. We see three numbers. Now, a lot of people on Twitter were like, oh my God, is this Task Force 141? I don't think it is because if this is World War II, Task Force 141 wouldn't have existed then. It might have, but it just doesn't really make sense to me. But looking at the history of task forces, this was originally introduced by the United States Navy, and that was Task Force One. However, Task Force One wasn't created until 1946, and this teaser seems to be in the realm of 1944, so that wouldn't make sense. But in the narrative sense of Call of Duty, if we have Task Force 141 in the modern warfare universe, there's nothing to say that in the World War II universe, we can't have another task force, which would be a really, really cool concept. I'm not out here saying we're going to have a Captain Price set in World War II or anything like that, but you get the idea. Besides Modern Warfare, there's never been like a strong group of operators that all work together collectively as a task force. Not almost idolized a bit, like when you look at, you know, Captain Price, you look at Ghost, Hope McTavish, those sorts of characters. Maybe they're trying to create like another iconic set of characters light as that. I don't know. We genuinely have no real idea what this game is apart from the fact that it's going to be set in World War II by the looks of it. But after all this analysis, the real question we're going to be asking now is what exactly is going on here and what is this leading up to? And it's undoubtedly teasers towards the official reveal of Call of Duty 2021. We don't know exactly when that's going to happen, but by all accounts, it looks like it's going to be happening soon. And leaning onto what we spoke about at the beginning about leaks and rumors, there was a ton of leaks and rumors about the game that started popping up on the internet yesterday. And Call of Duty, rather than ignore it, actually leaned into the situation, playing with memes on social media by tweeting this, which is a video showcasing a load of planes flying over with the word rumors and leaks replacing the actual planes themselves. Upon seeing this, I went and played back some of the missions from Call of Duty World War II from 2017, and I don't recognize any of this from that game whatsoever. So I think this is also something from the game that they put out there as an official leak of sorts, as a meme to combat what leaks and rumors are spreading about the game. And they never ever do this. And I genuinely think this is the best thing they could have done. Twitter absolutely loved Call of Duty's response to this. And I think what we're seeing here in this video is another direct response to those leaks and rumors. I have no idea when we're actually going to see the reveal, but I imagine this is not going to be the last teaser we see about the game. So if you don't want to miss out on anything to do with COD 2021 as we gear up towards its reveal, make sure you subscribe here on the channel, turn that notification bell on. As this trailer just came out of nowhere, I wasn't expecting this. I wasn't told this was happening. I just had this appear in my inbox and I had to share it with all of you. That's all for this video. If you enjoyed it, like the video, let me know your thoughts in the comments and I'll see you very soon for another video.